Hello everyone, and welcome to my first ever review video. Today, I wanna to share a few different types of fan masks that I found on Etsy. As we all definitely know by now, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought about the need for masks in everyday activities, and school band programs that are in-person are implementing the use of band masks or instrument masks, which will allow you to play an instrument while still wearing a mask. I recently completed a long-term sub-job for a public school band program, which called for the use of band masks, so I bought a variety of different styles and eventually built up my collection to having one for each day of the week. And I want to share my thoughts on each one in case you're looking for one for yourself or you're a parent looking for one for a student and want to get an idea of what the different styles look and feel like before getting one. Another thing that the pandemic has brought about, at least I hope it's brought about more universally, is the importance of supporting small businesses. And I've always appreciated crafty handmade things, so I opted to get my band masks on Etsy and support independent sellers. So now I have these four different styles of band masks. Even though I had one for every day of the week, I bought two of the same style when I was first getting started. And I would like to show them to you and talk about some of the differences between each one. A few things I'd like to say for full disclosure before we get started. One, this video is not sponsored by any of the sellers I'm reviewing or by anyone at all. Two, these will ultimately be positive reviews. There's enough negativity in the world as it is, and I'm not interested in making a video to throw shade at anyone. Plus, this project was born out of wanting to support small businesses. I really did like all of these masks for different reasons and gave all the sellers five stars on Etsy. Three, I will be looking at these masks through a brass player's perspective, since when I wore them, I was mostly playing horn and trombone. This isn't to say if you're a woodwind player that this video won't be helpful because I think all the mask designs are pretty straightforward for where the instrument will go, no matter what the instrument is. But I will say this video will not be helpful for flute players because flutes are the only wind instrument that need a more unique mask shape or a plastic flute guard. But I did see plenty of flute masks on Etsy too, and some were by some of these sellers if you are watching this as a flute player and you're interested in that. Four, I guess I'm also obligated to say this, but in case you couldn't tell by my other videos that include Sea Shanty Remixes and the Batman onesie video, I am not a doctor and am not here to give medical advice. I'm going to review these masks simply in the order I bought them in. I'm not trying to rank them or rate them. I just want to give everyone an idea of what different styles are out there and some pros and cons of each. I will put links in the description to all of these sellers if you see something that you're interested in. Let's get started. The first mask I bought is by Butterfly Violin. It's called the Slotted Face Mask for Musicians. I got the regular size. She has a lot of cool patterns in her shop. Um, I love yellow and floral everything, so I had to get this one with yellow flowers on it. After I tried the mask for a day and decided I liked it, I ordered another one in this festive snowflake print. It's pretty thick fabric too, but still breathable. What I really like about this mask is how much coverage it provides. Even when I would talk and masks naturally move around, it never felt like it was slipping below my nose. This mask has a spot for inserting a nose wire, though it doesn't come with one. I actually tried inserting a paper clip as a nose wire, but I found I didn't even need that either way because it stayed up so well. I also like how easily adjustable it is at the ears, and even the adjusters are a comfortable rubber material. This is what it looks like on. The only disadvantage I can think of is that it takes a moment to adjust to get the mouthpiece where it needs to go without the fabric getting in the way of your gauze or your lips. Also, her shipping is super fast. I think these were shipped the same day I ordered them. And she also has flute masks available in her shop if you're looking for those. The next mask I bought isn't necessarily meant to specifically be a band mask, but I was successful in using it for one. It's from Online Shop, and it's a zipper mask. This mask makes it pretty easy to go from wearing a mask to being able to play an instrument with just a simple unzip and not a lot of adjustment. It seems to be originally designed for eating or drinking while wearing a mask, but I thought, why not use it for both my favorite things? Iced coffee and band. 
This mask is more lightweight than the other masks I'm reviewing, probably because it's not originally meant for band. The coverage is mostly good. I found it would slip a little when wearing it for a prolonged period of time. I also wish it were a little more adjustable. It almost fits me as is, and I just wanted it a little tighter. So I wound up making these knots, but right at the very end of each loop, because I only needed it to be a little more snug, but then it fit great. I'm also a fan of the plaid pattern. Did I get this mask just so it could match my lifelong love of Duncan? Maybe. This is what it looks like on, and it's very easy to go from relaxing to playing with it on. to enjoy your iced pop. I wonder if the butterfly mask works for drinking iced coffee too. Success! The next mask I got is from Furloughed Masketeers and it's listed on their shop as solid musician face mask with nose wire and adjustable elastic. I don't think they had patterns available when I first got this, but if I'd known what they have now, I totally would have gotten their giraffe print. But I'm just as happy with my other go-to, yellow everything. The directions say that you can rotate the ear loops and adjust them via the knot on the inside. But I definitely didn't read those and just went for it by adding my own knots on the outside, which worked fine for me. The material is thicker and I like how the nose wire helps it stay in place. It has a lot of coverage either way and I didn't have any issues with this one moving around too much either. This mask is also really easy to go from relaxing to playing without a lot of adjustment. You can just lift this flap and put the mouthpiece where it needs to go. to this mask. If I had to give it a con, this is dumb, there's no con with the actual construction of it, but I didn't like laundering it. I usually toss my masks in the washer and then air dry them on a rack, but the first time I hang dried this thing, the flap dried in a way that it was wrinkly, but only on one corner, so it wasn't symmetrical, and I just was not okay with that. So I actually ironed this thing before wearing it again, because I'm that extra. But I solved this by now when I launder it, I stick it in the dryer, put on medium, and only for a few minutes, and then I take it out and put it on the rack, and then it's fine. So that's the tea on that. I know it's coffee, I just wanna be hip like the kids. The last mask I got is by Crafter Shocks, who also has a flute mask in her shop, if you're interested in that. This one is called Instrument Band Mask. This one took me a moment to figure out which way was supposed to be up and which way was supposed to be down while wearing it because there are these two buttonhole looking openings in different spots on the inside and the outside of the mask. But the example picture online makes it look like the slightly bigger piece of fabric goes on top and over the nose and then it lined up with my mouth better that way. This mask is probably great as is if you're a woodwind player and the opening even kind of looks like it's meant for a reed but as a brass player I felt the need to make a slight alteration and that's to cut the inner piece of fabric to make this flap so that putting the instrument up and playing it could happen faster without having to adjust two layers of fabric every time. So now I just fold the inner lining up before playing. And then fold it back down while resting. I like the design of this mask a lot because with the three pieces of fabric sewn diagonally, it's already shaped like a face, so you don't have to worry about it slipping, and it's a more precise fit around the nose and the chin. The adjusters are cool too. You adjust via the bead in the middle, and it also has these safety beads on the end 
to keep the other beads from falling out. But does it work with iced coffee? I don't know why I was expecting anything different from masks that are specifically designed to allow you to move air through a small aperture. But I'm happy to report that all of these masks are great for also enjoying your iced coffee. So to summarize, the slotted face mask by Butterfly Violin, awesome design and patterns, stays up well, is easily adjustable and even customizable with a wire. It just takes a moment to get the fabric in place before playing. The zipper mask by Online Shop, very convenient for getting into playing position quickly, can also be used in regular activities. I just wish it were a little more adjustable. Musician mask with nose wire by Furloughed Masketeers. Lots of cool colors and prints, adjustable, also very easy to get into playing position quickly. Just takes a little more effort to launder it if you like your laundry done a certain way. Instrument mask by Crafter Shocks. Great fit because the design is already shaped like a face. Easily adjustable. Also might take a moment to get the fabric just right before playing, but that's why I made small cuts in the inner lining. If any or all of these designs intrigue you, I have links in the description to all of these Etsy shops so that you can also support these small businesses. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more informative porn content and fun multi-track videos. I put out new videos on Tuesdays. Have a great week and see you next time.